Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Old Smoke and Steve's. Today we got a treat for you. Uh, we're not cooking up anything. Uh, I'm doing a review on the uh, Inkbird uh, IHT 1P digital readout thermometer. Uh, and I want to give a big shout out to Sky there at Inkbird for uh, providing this uh, uh, digital readout thermometer to me for uh, doing a review. And uh, this is the way it comes packaged, right here. Nice handy little box. Got some information on the back for you. And on the inside, it tells you how to uh, recalibrate the uh, thermometer if you need to. But uh, here it is, right here. It's nice looking. Uh, I really like it. I have uh, two or three other uh, brands and they aren't nearly as pretty as this one. I really like this color here. Uh, nice bright orange and uh, comes with uh, this rechargeable, uh, has a rechargeable battery in it. It comes with this USB uh, uh, charging cable and uh, I just plug it into the uh, computer to charge it up and it'll hold a charge for uh, up to 11 hours uh, uh, with it being on all the time and with the backlight on and it's gonna last you 11 hours on one charge, one full charge. So uh, I like the idea that you don't have to replace batteries. Uh, you don't have to worry about whether you have a spare battery. If the other one goes bad, uh, just recharge this baby and you're good to go. And uh, the way you turn it on is you just open this up here automatically comes on as you can see the backlight comes on it has a little hold button here to hold the temperature for you and if you want to shut it off just fold that in and it shuts off for you and also uh, one nice little feature about this it has magnets on the back so we can just stick that on the fridge the microwave uh, out by the grill or uh, wherever you might be cooking uh, to keep it handy for you and uh, like I say it is a waterproof and it uh, has an accuracy of uh, uh, plus or minus two degrees from uh, 58 degrees to 573 degrees it should be uh, accurate within uh, plus or minus two degrees and uh, <clears throat> have give you a readout within three to five seconds and uh, all in all, it's a nice unit. Uh, I got two other ones I, I like, uh, but I don't like them nearly as well as this one. And they're not expensive, guys. Uh, it's important to check your temperatures of your meat and whatever you're cooking uh, to ensure doneness. And uh, if you do that, you're gonna get maximum tenderness on your meat and maximum uh, juiciness. Uh, and that's what we're all striving for, guys. Uh, you can't just go by a cooking temperature and time alone because there's too many variables uh, thickness of meat and uh, so on and so forth so uh, uh, checking temperature is really important so uh, let's uh, go ahead and check the uh, calibration of this guy and uh, see how accurate it is and uh, you know if it's not accurate we'll go ahead and recalibrate it and if it is uh, we'll leave it alone uh, but as far as recalibration goes uh, uh, you just open the probe and uh, hold the hold button uh, in at the same time and that'll get you into the calibration mode and then you just hit the button and uh, calibrate it that way. But let's uh, check this calibration out and see how accurate it is. Okay guys, uh, let's go ahead and uh, check out the calibration on this thing. I got a glass of uh, water here with some ice in it and it's been sitting there about five minutes or so. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn this ink bird on. And we just do that by uh, opening the probe up. Okay. And it's showing a temperature of uh, eh, approximately 80 degrees in here. So let's go ahead and put it in the ice water here. And uh, we should be looking at about 32 degrees. Let's 
because then they're good. So we're reading about 33.2. Uh, if we wanted to get a little bit closer than that, we could go ahead and calibrate it and uh, reset it for, well, now it's 32.8. Uh, so you could go ahead and recalibrate it for uh, 32, but it's reading 32.8, and uh, that's close enough for me. So uh, uh, we should be good to go as far as the calibration goes. Okay, we got our boiling water here, and... Uh, as you all know, water boils at 212 degrees. And uh, we have our ink bird over here. It's reading uh, 76.9 uh, or 75.9 degrees right now. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and stick that in the boiling water. And it should read uh, 212 for us. Let's take a peek. Okay, 212 degrees it is. There you have it, guys. The ink bird IHT 1P passed the calibration test. And if it wouldn't have, uh, we could calibrate it. Uh, anyway, so uh, regardless, uh, uh, we passed first go around, so we're good to go. We don't have to calibrate it. But if it do does lose the uh, calibration down the road for some reason, uh, uh, maybe it gets knocked around or something and loses calibration. I don't know if it even would, but if it does, uh, we can recalibrate it. So guys, this is a good one. I'm really liking it. And uh, guys, even if you're using a, a wired thermometer, uh, let's say you're cooking a, a pork butt out on a grill or whatever, and you have a, a thermometer stuck in the meat and it's, it's gonna read the temperature for you, you still need to check that meat in different areas of that meat. So you can't just go by that one probe alone. I would go ahead and get you one of these and uh, check the meat in various spots to make sure it's done. And I want to thank everybody for uh, tuning in and watching and uh, hope to see you on the next one.